we're going to the veranda. Hello and welcome to my channel, Sarah Loves Sparkles. Today's video is all about my stay at Disney's Grand California. So we had like a major celebration of celebrating my sister Heather's birthday and my baby Hudson's first visit to Disneyland. So we decided to stay at the Grand Californian. And his first trip to Disneyland video is definitely coming, so stick around for that and hit that subscribe button right now. I make videos about all kinds of fun things, so check some of those out while you're here too. I'm just gonna show you everything because that hotel is amazing and I love it. So let's go check it out. Here's the lobby. They've got a fireplace with rocking chairs. They've got this super cute area for with little tiny chairs to watch. Um, I think they play movies here and stuff. Here's a Millennium Falcon. I'm not sure what this is. Some kind of like model thing, but this is where they usually have the gingerbread house for Christmas. There's not a sign or anything showing what it is, but it's super cool. They've got some pretty floral arrangements here. These are super cool. I'm not sure what they are. They've got a grand piano here. Um, hopefully later I can catch somebody playing. Plus it's your first time at a hotel, huh Hudson? Your first time at a hotel. What a perfect hotel to be your first. There's a model of one of the Disney cruise ships. So we are just kind of exploring some of the Grand Californian and this is one of the wedding areas. Uh, we did get married at the Disneyland Hotel, so I was just kind of curious about the spots at the Grand Californian. And yeah, I like it a lot. It's a nice, it's a nice, like kind of little spot, but it's really cool because there's a view off in the distance of Cars Land, um, Guardians, and Grizzly Peak. Plus, it overlooks the pool. I like it a lot. Hi. <laughs> so, in the um, hallway by the elevator, Hold on, I so there's a hidden Mickey. Mickey. Yeah? That, that we have, you gotta show this. Gotta show what? It's the hidden Chippendale. Oh, and how crazy, there's hidden Chippendales here too. And look at this. I just bought another one right now, no. as we speak. Another hidden Mickey. Next up is the room tour. Here's how the beds look. Here's how I look. Here's how you look, huh? Excuse me. <laughs> and here's how you look. I'm over here too. And you, Hudson. But um, kind of one of the coolest parts of this is there's a little Chippendale climbing through this tree. I'd say that's kind of the coolest part of the room. This is the artwork in the room. I don't know, I don't know exactly what it is, but I'm not seeing any kind of like Disney things through it. Here is the bathroom. Let's see. The shower. These, they're all tipped over, but it is body wash, conditioner, and shampoo. Then here it comes with some soap, shower cap, mouthwash, a shoe mat, and lotion. Cute little Chippendale picture behind the toilet here. There's a Keurig and two water bottles. It's got this Disney brand Joffrey's coffees, a tea, and hot chocolate. I did find another cool little detail in the bathroom, which on this little step stool there's uh, Mickey ears. Here's another piece of the artwork. I don't see any Disney references in this one either, just little pine cones. I did I find a Disney the, thing in I there, a hidden the Mickey. The there's a chair. And here's our view. Now we have the um, club level, which 
it, we have the standard club level because they were all out of the premium club levels. So our view, we kind of have a view of the construction, uh, the Disneyland Hotel, we can kind of see the monorail. But I guess premium uh, club level has um, park views or downtown Disney views. That's pretty hard to find right now though. And it does have this little table and chairs. Whenever I see circles around Disneyland, I always have to find hidden Mickey's. I always know they're there. Real nice. Nice bottle spot. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh, why are you squirting me? <laughs> so here's the little crib they brought in for Hudson. We put his cloud from home on it. And his blanket from home. I do wish we would have gotten a park view or a downtown Disney view because that would have been so cool. But um, I guess that's really hard to get right now. It's sold out all the time, but um, I was happy with what we had. And the bed was so comfy. That was kind of like the best part. It was just super comfy, like sleeping in a cloud type of bed. So I always like showing my outfit of the day in videos. So here that is. And if you see anything you like, I will put the link to my like to know it account so you can check it out there. Okay, so my outfit is a little bit sentimental. This is the bow that Jim, my brother-in-law, got me for kind of like, what do you want to call it? Like announcing that I was like his best woman for the, for the wedding. So. That's what he got me, and I wore that with my Snow White dress. Now this dress is super cool. It actually came from Hot Topic, but it has these like velvet details, so it's like super high quality. Oh yeah. Yeah. Very nice. So you can see it has Snow White and little Snow White, you know, figures and things in there. The apple, all of it. Very subtle. Subtle Snow White. So. And okay. my favorite part? There's a little, little petticoat, built in petticoat. Spin it, let's see it. Ultra spin. <laughs> Runway walk it. Runway walk it? Runway walk it. What is this? This is your? This is my whoa. <laughs> oh, I got some Ultra spin. Here. <laughs> this is a black, just a black tank top that I put with this polka dot skirt that I got from Amazon because it looks like Minnie Mouse. Oh, and can't forget my. Steve Madden sparkle shoes. I'm still jealous of those. Oh, I, I am bet. so jealous oh, of those. I, I love them. I'm gonna take those off your feet. Cinderella ain't got nothing on you. One of my very favorite parts about staying at the Grand Californian was the veranda. The veranda is a lounge that you get access to when you stay at club level and it was so worth it. The veranda has different foods and drinks um, and they change out four times throughout the day. When we arrived, they were doing the afternoon tea menu, which was super cute. It was like afternoon tea type foods with scones, tea sandwiches, stuff like that. And that was like the lunch menu of the day, basically. And we were able to check out all four different menus, so I just recorded some of the foods and stuff like that. So let's check those out. We're going to the veranda. They've got a tea station here. What do you think, Hilda? You're already here. I'm getting a little coffee with a splash of hazelnut. <laughs> tea and coffee, I guess, huh? Thank you. They got um, Twinnings teas. Earl Grey, Jasmine Green, that's probably what I'll get. What'd you get? Oh, where's that one? Fancy bags. Get Ooh, fancy, fancy bags. bags. Ooh, English breakfast. Very nice. They've got an espresso machine. Espresso and cappuccino lattes. Here's the desserts. We got some Scones. These are chocolate chunk scone with raspberry jam and Mexican wedding cookies. That scone looks so good. Can you get me? I 
They got sodas, fresh fruit, and some cups of trail mix. Oh, some pretzel goldfish, bread and butter. What do you got? Chips and salsa? Your type of thing, huh? Look at that. Ooh. Ooh. Turkey sandwich. Roasted corn chipotle. Tuna salad. Chipotle egg. Here's the view off the balcony. Are you eating on the balcony, Hudson? You are. You are. Special napkin. You got your special napkin? Oh, look at these napkins. And they have a bar. And here's the room as a whole. How is it? I haven't started. <laughs> you haven't started? A little bit of everything. They had a um, corn chipotle salsa that you missed. <gasps> I better get it. You better get it. I better get it. So we just um, ate and drank tea in the veranda. The turkey sandwich was really, really good. That surprised me. They even had like uncrustables and the scone. The scone was the best part. That was so good. You liked it too, huh, Hudson? You liked it a lot. And like the last menu of the day is a dessert menu. And they had all kinds of cute dessert. And fun fact, the green pistachio macaroons were actually the same ones that we had at our wedding. Which, I'll do a video about our um, Disney wedding if anybody's interested in that. I'll probably do that pretty soon. Which I never thought I'd actually get to have some of our wedding food again. So I guess that's just maybe one of their menu items. So that was really cool because they did have some of the items that I saw in the wedding menu in the veranda and in the veranda room at night they have beignets vegan chocolate cupcake wow that looks really good there's cookies assorted macaroons and this cute fruit tart wow and so breakfast is one of the main reasons i would definitely recommend um, getting club level if you can it was such like an easy and perfect way to start the day before going into the parks and just a nice way to get tea, coffee or whatever. And the breakfast foods were so good and so cute. I'd say the breakfast menu might have been my favorite part. They had some really good oatmeal and um, little coconut pudding and stuff like that. They had plenty of healthy options and treat options, stuff like that. We got some morning mimosas. For breakfast, they have a donut bar. It's got sprinkles, cinnamon sugar, looks like caramel and chocolate. Look at that. It's like a donut bar, right? A donut bar. This is what Jim made off the donut bar and it, it looks perfect. Like, I don't know how you made it so Chef perfect. Jim knows how to Chef make a custom donut. <laughs> this is the view that we're eating with. This one. Oh yeah, look at that. He's setting it all up. <laughs> <laughs> Some danishes. Oh, I'm and this is so beautiful. It is a coconut parfait. Salmon bagels. Granola parfait. Hard boiled eggs. Monorail's going by. I think the coolest part about this view is if you look real close you can see a little tip of the man horn. <laughs> and last we went to the dinner option right before we went home um, when we were checking out because when you stay at a Disney hotel you're able to use everything at the hotel except the room so like the pool whatever until um, the end of the day on the day you check out. So that was really cool so we were able to go back in there for dinner time and check that out. And I was so surprised they had many versions of um, all the skewers from Bengal Barbecue inside of Disneyland. Pistachio mousse, wow. Oh my gosh, are there pistachio mousse? I know. Homemade hummus. And chicken stew. 
Onion dip. Beef skewers? Oh my gosh. Skewers, chicken skewers, cheese and crackers. Cheese. Last stop is the pool. Now we didn't get a chance to swim that day and I wasn't quite ready to take my baby into a pool for the first time. So we just looked at the pool and checked it out. Here's the pool. They have these pretty butterfly lanterns. And there are three pools here. This one is not currently opened, but it does have a water slide. And this is kind of like the main pool. We're going to check out the fitness center. They've got two Pelotons. A bunch of treadmills, ellipticals, a leg press, wow, water and towels, cashy trail mix. Thank you so much for watching. I have a ton of other Disney videos and some other hotel videos and just all kinds of fun stuff. So please check out the rest of my channel while you're here and maybe even subscribe. Thank you so much.